Here's what you can expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. I have one common VI that runs on all three targets. It's called RTPC main. And you can open up this VI and note that it's running on the PC host as well as two MyRio devices. And you can run it on as many academic Rio devices as that as you might have available. All right, let's go ahead and start running these VIs. Each one has a string that will be passed as a message. You can type whatever you want. I will go ahead and use an identifying string here. We'll call this PC. Call this one Rio 1. And we'll call this one Rio 2. So we have a list of, or an indicator that shows the primary IP address as well as all available IP addresses at which this device can be reached. You have a destination IP and port number that you can type in to, to uh, send a message or UDP datagram to another device. You can use the control C, control V technique to copy and paste these IP addresses into the de destination field. This says the network is down, unreachable, or has been reset. So evidently, the um, address which is associated with the Rio 2 USB LAN network is not reachable from Rio number one. So let's try Rio 2. And there we go. We see the PC is indicating the message that was received, and then it's also indicating from which device it was received. Let's give this one a try. This is the network host address of the Rio 1 USB LAN network. And we see that we can send from Rio 1 to the PC. These are the only hosts on this USB LAN network. Let's grab the address of Rio 2 and PC We'll attempt to send to that device, and that works. And let's take a look at this specialty address, 127.0.0.1. This is known as a loopback address. It's a way for a host to basically communicate with itself. This is not reachable by any other host. It's just internal to the host. And every network device has this standard loopback address. For Rio 1 and Rio 2, you see that it appears in the list of available addresses. For whatever reason, it's not showing up in the PC host, but it in fact is a valid address. Let's give this a try. Again, this, this loop bag is standard to all um, IP-capable devices. The PC is connected to my home's wireless router. Let's try communicating through the wireless. And if we look carefully at the list of available IP addresses for Rio 1, we see that none of them begin with 192. Let's enable the wireless. And it just takes a moment here, the, field, or the indicator updates, and we see that we've now been assigned an address on my wireless network. And now we can send from Rio 1 to the PC host. Last thing I'd like to mention, notice that when you stop the VI, Initially, it looks like it hasn't stopped. If you look at the run arrow, it has stopped. 
you just don't get the characteristic grid pattern that shows up when it stops. What we find is that you need to stop the VI on every single device before that VI becomes editable.